Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, our Germany playthrough. In our last episode, we continued steadily pushing into Soviet territory, um, and right at the end of the episode, we had a couple of fires crop up that we need to deal with here. Um, first is my fleet that I was sending to invade Gibraltar, and what? It actually looks like they managed to get away. Okay, so that's that's good. They took a beating, though, so... Hopefully, they'll be okay. Um, okay, so this guy, actually, we, let's just send that back there, rebase them. Now, one thing I want to also do is look at this fleet. How are these guys doing? They're a little dinged up, but it's not terrible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them here somewhere. Let's see. Where do we have a really good naval base? Where is this naval base? Is it in Rotterdam? Yes, it's in Rotterdam, and that's a very good naval base. So, let's actually bring these guys into Rotterdam for repair resupply and what I want to try and do is get this fleet and break them out into the Atlantic Ocean so I want to get them through the English Channel and get them at port on one of the Atlantic coastal ports on, on in France so that I can begin um, raiding English shipping in the Atlantic alright so now the other thing that happened here is I pushed my forces into the Crimea um, and began assaulting Sevastopol. But they launched a counteroffensive with this big stack of troops. Um, and actually... Does it look like we broke them? I'm not sure. No, we haven't broken them yet. But we really can't. Um, yeah, we... We came under counterattack, and this entire stack here is now retreating, which is going to open a hole in the line here for these troops. I'm trying to bring some guys back, but it's trouble. So, what I actually want to do is just cancel that attack right now. We, it's not necessary, and I want to bring these medium armor down. All right, let's go ahead and unpause it. Um, let things start rolling a little bit. These guys are going to take a while to get where they need to go. Looks like we're going to take Sevastopol. I have the bombers here, but they have very low organization because they recently rebased. Okay, so how are we doing here? Looks good. As long as they don't get hit by another big English fleet, they should be okay. Alright, now the other thing I want to do is... Um, I don't really have the forces down here to advance. Um, so they're going to just keep the guys in the south here, kind of where they are. And what I'm going to want to do is take some of these massed forces I have here... ...and start pushing up to this river. This river here. And then, hopefully, being able to kind of draw the rest of the forces up to that river um, in kind of an orderly fashion. So, what do we have here? I think what we we'll do is actually march these troops here. I want to get need to get that moved up. Okay. And then I need to move the... the armor forward. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Alright, they got there. Actually, let's let's cancel this move. Let's see if Let's see if just these single divisions can hold. 
Okay, that 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 might be good. Now Okay. Now one thing I wanted to do is I need to check this production. Alright, manual control. Um we'll get more infantry in January. Yeah, that stack completed. Okay, so. Alright, it looks like disaster's been averted for the time being. But I need to keep an eye on it. Uh, let's actually, we, we need to move that south a bit. Okay, um... What's the terrain look like? Okay, they're on the hills. That's actually a good spot to hold the line. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot to hold the line at. Let these guys recover their organization and then bring them back to the front. That should be okay, as long as you don't hit me too hard there again. Alright. So. We want to do an offensive here in the center along the southern border of the marshlands. Oh, wait a minute, we got some production done. Alright, we got a light panzer division. So, where do we want to put those light panzers? Um... Hmm. Well, I'll think about it here for, for a few minutes while I get other things rolling here. So... I want to leave the... Alright, we got a couple of technologies there. I want to leave the foot infantry behind, and probably one of the... motorized, and start an assault here. Oh, the Ark Royal... found us again. doing so hot. Oh well. As long as we can get the Marines landed, that's what I'll be happy for. So, uh, let's just drop these guys somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to want to do it. We're going to put them down there. Alright, so they're launching their attack there. And we want to get... These guys moved here. Actually, no, no, they don't, they don't have any access there. So let's launch an attack there. Uh, let's throw those guys in. We need to bring the bombers in. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we took Sevastopol. That is what we want. Now, I'm actually going to move these motorized back up north. So they don't need to stay there. Oh, good. We got landed. Very, very good. Okay, so now the Strait of Gibraltar is open to any shipping that we're going to want to try to send through there. Let me take a look at my fleet. They are okay. So let's see, which naval base are we going to want to try to send to? Uh, we, This is the one we're going to want right here. Brest. So let's rebase them here and get them access to the Atlantic. Uh, 
Oh, break those guys out of the battle. Oh, we encountered... It looks like it's a, some transports. Yeah, I didn't stand a chance. Okay. And these are gonna be my naval bombers. So let's actually rebase those guys out here as well. Hopefully they're not gonna get intercepted too badly. No, nope, they, they managed to make it through. Alright, we won that battle. Alright, so that battle won. So let's see if I can attack... that. Was oh, there no border there? Uprisings. Stinking uprisings. Hold on, hold on. Oh, they rose up underneath of one of my... Ah, that's annoying. Okay, so... Oh, they're going to be moving in a winter point to five kilometers per hour. Ugh. Can I strategically redeploy them? So we're in the dead of winter right now. Not exactly the best time in the world to initiate an offensive, but... How's our revolt risk looking? Yeah. Mass assault advance. Well, let me actually just deploy these guys there. We might need more garrison units. I'm gonna think about that at some point. Uh, break off the attack. You guys stay there. Oh, actually, I think we just move them there. Alright, we want armor. Motorized armor. More. Armor. Armor. Okay, we want... Okay, that looks good. Uh, they keep moving fresh units in, but... We're, we're moving such a large mass of armor in there, they aren't going to be able to hold up. All right, where are we under attack? We're under attack here. I don't think so. Go ahead and bomb the snot out of them. They have a fleet there? A ship? Interesting. Alright, now we have the motorized there. Uh, 
Okay. Central planning advance. People's army advance. We're getting close to uh, 1942 where we're going to have to do another uh, technology review at some point to make sure that we have everything organized we're going to want it. Because I think when we hit 1942, we want to queue up a large number of um, tank technologies again. Now, let's see. Can we begin an advance here? Got to get some units into better position. But... Yeah, let's move those guys forward. Let's get this guy over where we need him. Light armor. Right, so this light armor is just about in a position. Uh, let's see, do we have mobile? We do. So let's actually march foot infantry there, because we want the mobile here. And we're going to leave the foot infantry behind, and we're going to move the mobile there to begin an offensive along the northern edge of the marshlands. Special forces, good. Everything is just moving really slow because it's in the... It's the winter. Alright, we don't need that ground attack anymore. Okay, so, let's see... I'm going to take... these guys in advance there. Along with... not this one... Let's take some of those guys. These two can now attack there with one of those guys. Actually, no, we're going to leave you behind. We're going to attack with one of the fresher divisions. And push them out. What do we have here? Can I leave a couple of these troops behind? Hit these guys here? And then use these. Yes. Okay. All right, this guy should be relatively great. Go. Okay. Right, we're under attack again. Yeah, no trouble there. What do we got? We got more heavy tanks. Okay, so we want heavy tanks. This is the heavy tank, the 14th core. We're going to throw it and attach there. Time to prepare. Alright, how are we looking here? Good. Alright, so let's begin our assault here. I'm going to use the medium armor and a few of the motorized and hit them here. thing we are also going to do is bring some of these guys forward. Another Polish uprising. So let's actually move in here.
spawning events. Now, we want to continue this push, so let's take those guys out, let's leave, let's advance them there, and let's take a couple of divisions and move them that way. Large formations, okay. What's actually in here? Light armor, motorized infantry, armored cars, and self propelled artillery. Okay. Oh, we got uh, one of these. These are close air support, right? I don't think we have any. Let's let's bring them there. We're going to assign them to the the army group. Production. Let me see. Let me make sure we're rebalanced here. And okay, they're getting really close. Yeah, those are the close air support. Mexico has been accepted into the Allies. Okay. That just won't affect me much. Alright, what are we doing? We're attacking here. And only two divisions? Let's throw another division in there. And let's attack... Here, like that. That's fine. That's going well. That's going well. Swear punked. Okay. What we got? We got more close air support. So where is the close air support? There we go. And we're wasting IC. So we want to make sure we rebalance again. All right, we got these guys moving there. So let's start advancing. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no. These guys are retreating. Uh, but we have more units moving in. Uh, they attack. They counterattacked. Oh boy, okay, so here is the infantry. Heavy armor. Let's actually start moving this heavy armor to the front. Uh, we are wasting tons of IC, so we want to prevent that. And now, uh, how's this, these guys look? These guys look good. Okay, so let's start distributing them. And I think I want to bring this set of infantry 
down here. Make them a core, and then attach this core to the Seventh Army. Yep. That looks good. Forces are under attack. Yep, they started trying to move in. So you notice I, I've left a gap in the line there, but it's only temporary. Large front. Okay, actually, it's January now. So let's just go ahead and pause it up. We want to take a look at our technology here. So, 1942. All right, so infantry technology. We want to make sure we get that queued up. And, all right, let's push that to the top. Improve security units, assault weapons. Uh, I want those in the queue, but I don't want to prioritize them. We don't need any of that armor. All right, who do we want to prioritize? Let's take the light tanks. We're, cause we're actually using a lot more light tanks than I thought I'd be using. Uh, medium tanks. And I also want to do heavy tanks. Super heavy tank brigade? Why not? Armored car. Yeah, they're kind of important as well. Alright, and all of these. So yeah, we're actually going to be pushing a lot of stuff off. Okay, so we just want to make sure that we're getting... Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Rocket artillery. Oh, those guys need to go up there as well. Okay. Uh, these guys can go in there, but they're not priority because we're not going to be building any ships anytime soon. Again, yep, these guys can be queued up, but not priorities. Bombers, 1943 stuff. I'm uh, not worried about that. Fighters, 1943 stuff. Small air search radar. We probably want to put that up there. Uh, combat medicine, first aid. Agriculture. Agriculture is kind of important because it improves our manpower. Industrial production and industrial efficiency. Those are also very important. Radar. I guess that's important as well. We really can't prioritize anything more. Uh, we will need that queued up. Heavy A guns, supply production, isotope separation. Where were we? Uh, the flying bomb, we'll put that in there. Aeronautic, all this stuff. Let's. All this stuff to queue in. Maybe once our tank stuff completes, we'll have to come back in here and see if we can reprioritize some things. And we get everything in here. Okay, we're good there. All right. Let's go ahead and unpause it. Right, those guys are moving in there. Leave these guys behind. And these guys behind. And let's move them forward. Start the next assault.
Oh, well, nothing I can do about that. He got separated from his unit. His command. Uh, let's see how these guys look in. Okay, yeah. These guys are out of supplies. Are there supply issues? It doesn't look like it. Okay, good. They got there. No problem. No problem at all. Okay, so... I'll leave these guys behind. We have... we we'll leave a couple of these so we're gonna push forward like this. Now, can I maybe grab this city? Is this a victory point? Minsk. Oh, that's a big city to hold. Let's see if we can... Only two units. It's going to be... Well, actually, most of those are command structures. Let's do that. Yeah, Minsk is a it's a big prize. It looks like we're gonna take we took it already, so. I don't know why these guys like the uprisings that come here in France are considered the UK. That's weird. Uh, let's see, should I bring a couple of... I'm gonna bring a couple of infantry divisions... ...down here. And bring one of the garrisons over. Looks like my fleet made it to rest. And they are fully repaired, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go out here... ...I'm gonna break out into the North Atlantic and convoy raid. My guys are completely out of supplies. But that doesn't really matter. They just need to hold that... that spot. More heavy armor. Okay, so we want to put the heavy armor down here. I think that's the yep, yeah, 14th core attached to the 14th core. Are these guys ready to be moved in yet? No. All right, so we're hitting them hard. Let's bring my motorized forward. Let's bring this motorized forward. Oh, of course. Heavy armor, motorized. Move everything in. Forces are under attack. Battle of Minsk. We won. Alright. That's good. Oh, they've decided the Great Patriotic War. Right, so that's probably going to give them some kind of buffs. What do I want to do here? We haven't really done any advancing. Ah, because now we have, we have troops. We have troops that need to be distributed. Armor needs to be distributed. We have more armor that needs to be deployed. Okay, so we're going to deploy you. Attach it to the 14th, and the 14th is now complete. Now 
Let's see, what can we move in here? Let's, uh, let's take you out. Let's take you... Yep, let's launch an attack there. A lot of stuff. But, we should have... We should have bombers. Let's go ahead and bomb them. Close air support guys. Let's bomb these guys. We have lost. Ah, they broke and ran again. Ugh. Look at these guys marching in the front. Oh, these guys just need to get there. Just need to get there. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Basing advance. Okay. We're still attacking. We have more guys moving in. Why is this heavy armor retreating? Strange. This heavy armor. Head back over there. Right, these guys can stop bombing. Alright, so now that we're moving in here, these guys. Actually, probably this whole stack. can pile on into here. It's, I don't need to hit them with everybody, but we're just going to hit them with everybody. These guys are being hit. Let's try and relieve them. Alright, well, this is probably a good place to go ahead and stop for now. Uh, we have been pushing through here successfully, and uh, when, we come, when we come back to the next episode, we're going to continue our push around the southern end and northern end of this marshlands. What I'd really like to be able to do is completely surround it, get it completely cut off, and then try and starve out all of those enemy units in there. But... We'll see what happens. Right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you next time.